Hello everyone, I'm Arshika. If you are new to this channel, then welcome. And if you have already subscribed, then welcome back. So, uh, yet another year has come to an end and I want to wish you and your loved ones a very happy new year. I also want to take this opportunity to thank you for all the love and support you have shown me on our channel. Last year, I set up a challenge to read 100 books on Goodreads, but then I revised it to 80 because 80 seemed like a practical figure I could reach. In 2022 also, I read about 86 books. So yeah, 80 I believed was doable. And voila, I have completed this challenge. So for 2024, I have decided to set a challenge to read 90 books because I want to push myself a little this year and let's see whether I can complete it or not. So without much further ado, coming back to the topic, today I'm going to talk about a wonderful book which I have read recently and I liked it so much that I immediately wanted to tell you guys about it. So this is the Mr. Terra book series by Rob Bouye. So there are four books in the series, but I have only read three. I have already ordered the fourth one. So that tells you how much I like this. This book hands down has become one of my favorites. It tells a fabulous story about a group of children who in the first part, because of Mr. Terrupt, are in fifth grade. In the second part, sixth grade and likewise. So they do not have a lot in common. They do not get along. That is until Mr. Terrupt, a new teacher, arrives. Let me introduce you to the main characters. There are seven in total. And let me start with my favorite, Jessica. She's the new girl and always has a book in her hand. Then there is Peter, the class clown, always making jokes and is very funny. We have Luke, the smartest boy in the class, and he's always eager to answer. We have Alexia, who is the queen bee and always likes friends around her. And she always uses the word like. I also have a friend who always uses the word literally in every sentence, but she's a great friend. Anyway, there is Jeffrey who lose, does not have interest in anything. There is Daniel who lacks self-esteem. And at last we have Anna who is the shy girl. Reading about these children gives us a lot of perspective about their characters and personalities. Each chapter is told by a different character, just like the book Wonder. Let me show you. So this is by Jeffrey and Jessica. The characters have very different personalities that come out in the way they tell their part of the story. I really liked all these books. It was not just a simple story about their school life, but also about the day-to-day -day life at home. So the characters are authentic and the story is emotional and powerful. Mr. Terab teaches all his students about how to behave. He tells them that no one is perfect and each one of them has their own talents. And even though I've told you so much about Mr. Terrapt, you will still have to read the book to know how great he is. I just can't describe it. And if you are a teacher or wanting to become one, then this is a must read because it will teach you how to teach. Wait, it will teach you how to teach. <laughs> Overall, I love these books. They will not disappoint you and it's a must read for all children. So please don't forget to keep this inspiring and thoroughly enjoyable book in your books to buy list. Also, uh, the first two parts can be read by 10 years or above, but the third and I believe fourth part should be read by 12 years or above. With that, we've come to the end of the video. I keep making such book reviews and recommendations. So if you enjoyed this, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. This is Arshika signing off. Peace.